Hello and welcome, I am your Code Monkey, and in this video I'm going to give you 5 options to price your indie game. Let's begin. So as you're making your game, you will eventually have to decide how much to charge. This can be a tricky thing to figure out, so here are 5 tiers you can look into. These tiers are based on my experience as a PC game developer, so they apply to selling your game on Steam or a console and aren't very applicable for mobile games. Number 1. Free. If you're just getting started, then chances are your first game will not be very good. Experience is very important when making games. So with your very first game, what you should really value most of all is feedback. Look at it as a learning experience to improve your skills as a game developer so you can later start charging an actual price. If you launch on Steam, you will get a bunch of people trying out your game and hopefully giving their feedback as user reviews. Try to analyze all the reviews to figure out what you did right and what could have been done better. Since it's free, it means players will be more forgiving when giving their feedback. Keep that in mind and don't become overly confident if you do end up with a very high review score. Number 2. $3-5 dollars. Once you start charging, everything becomes much more difficult. Just because it's a cheap price, don't assume people will go easy on you. While some people will say it's great value if the game is good, you will also get comments from people saying it really should be free. And on the free tier, you don't need much to convince some people to give it a shot. But in here, even though it's cheap, you still need a compelling game. It needs to be unique enough to convince people to put down even if it's a very small amount. So if you just make a basic loan or a simple platformer, you won't find much success even if it is so cheap. This is the perfect price point for experimentation since people won't be forgiving on the total amount of content. What you do have in the game has to be good, but you don't need to make dozens of hours of content. So use this price point to try out mechanics that you would like to later use in a larger game. Number 3. 10 to 15 dollars. At this price point it's supposed to be a good indie game. You're competing with games like Terraria or FTL which are 10 dollars. In here people expect a quality experience with at least 10 hours worth of content. So your game should be compelling enough to stack up against 10 dollar competitors while offering something unique. So it should be polished and mostly bug free. All the menus should be clear and animated, all the characters well designed and easy to control, and the story or core mechanics extremely solid. At this price point you also need a clear marketing strategy. The $3-$5 price point lends itself to impulse purchases, but in here that no longer happens. You need to know your audience and set up your store page to convince people the game is worth the cost. The good news is that this price point is perfect for a solo or small team. If your game is good and you market it correctly, you will be able to make enough money to pay for the cost of the game. Number 4. 20 plus dollars. This is reserved for top tier indie games. Games at this level are usually made by teams and contain dozens or hundreds of hours of extremely good content. In here you have games like Superhot, Invisible Ink, The Banner Saga, Transistor and so on. Players expect the kind of quality that gets reviewed on sites like IGN. Your trailer should clearly display good production values, it should have great art direction, a lot of content and a very compelling concept. Marketing also has to be a thing, you need people to hear about your game outside of Steam. So games in this tier normally have adverts on sites like Rock Paper Shotgun. Number 5. Free with microtransactions. I'm adding this one last since it's extremely difficult to pull off. This is more of a valid price point for mobile games rather than Steam. It requires very careful balancing and mountains of players. Most people won't buy your microtransactions, so you need to balance making the game great for the majority of free players, but also offering compelling content for the paying players. Again, this is very tricky to pull off correctly, so I wouldn't recommend it and certainly not if you're making a game to release on Steam. So there you have it, 5 tiers to price your indie game. As always, these are just guidelines of what players expect at different price points. There's no rule saying you can't price your first game at $20, but you're unlikely to succeed. Also, these guidelines depend on how unique your game is and in what genre it's competing in. In a crowd genre like platformers, there will be a lot of competition charging very little. On the other hand, if you target a very unique and very specific niche, you can probably get away with charging more since there's less options. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.